Hi there, I'm Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you the British Drama Toolkit. This is an incredibly intuitive and inspiring library. It enables you to play in a single pass and add a real edgy quality sound to your productions or even inspire the basis for a whole cue. It works in a slightly different way to our other libraries. You just heard me playing in a single pass something with the main patch here. But I'm going to dive into one of the instruments to show you exactly how this library is constructed and how it works. So all of the instruments in the library are soloists and we've collaborated with composer Sam Sim to create an instrument that has a huge amount of texture within each layer. But it doesn't prevent you from holding down a nice chord. You hear movement and you hear things happening, but it's not so obvious that you hear the same kind of sound looping round and round again. So if you look at the main velocity layer view here, you'll see that the samples are split into three regions. There are texture samples at the bottom, soft in the center and loud at the top. The loud samples are designed to give a soloistic kind of feel and the texture are designed for backing chords. So you hear that if I play the texture samples on their own, They're giving you a really interesting kind of bass level for, for performing over them. And if you play the loud samples on their own, you hear a really beautiful kind of rebowing. And this is um, instructing the players not to do this slightly unnatural, trying to get the bow to last as long as possible across the notes, but allowing them to really perform the samples musically. So you can hear that you can get a really kind of emotive performance out of these loud samples. If we look at a slightly different way of viewing this patch, it's a long accented, which enables you to have the louder layers die off slightly into the chord. And that works like this. So it gives you that kind of different edge to the texture. We also have a really great harmonic layer. Let me show you how that works with another instrument. So we'll load the flute. So again, you can hear that with the velocity that you're hitting the keys with, you're able to pick which layer you're selecting from. And while it's it requires a slightly new uh, approach to, to playing, it's not the traditional cross fading between layers. What it does give you, it does give you a huge amount of power in terms of um, sketching out something and being able to play with both hands while hearing different layers and different textures and, and picking those different layers and textures with your fingers. It's a different kind of creativity and it's very inspiring to play. If I show you, uh, we have an alternate soft, this peaks with the soft, so you have a slightly more dynamic range to play with, but you've still got the texture layer in there. And that sounds like this.
So some really lovely sounds in there. And if we look at the chiflongs, you've got a variety of really useful sounds in there as well. Let's look at the bass clarinet. This is a really unusual sound to build textures from, but picking these instruments and then creating your own little band and either layering it over your existing samples or just building an entire cue from these sounds alone gives you a hugely 3D and textural sounding image. So you can really dig in when you want to. But listen to these really beautiful chatter sounds. Some really lovely stuff in there. And let's look at the viola next. And I'm going to start with the accented patch. So incredibly inspiring to play. Let's look at layering up some of these sounds. So if we take the viola, we'll add the cello. So I'm going to select the long from the cello, the quiet layer from the piccolo, and the harmonics from the viola. And let's see what happens. So at this top end, we now have the viola harmonics and the piccolo. If I switch the viola back to quiet uh, level, so it's around the center of the keyboard again, we're not playing the harmonics on this one, and then give us the full range on the piccolo. So you can hear you've got lots of variety for building your own kind of ensembles, but let's go back to the main patch and check out some of the other main pre-built patches which we've already made for you. Um, the way that they're described here, tutti longs with the strings on the top layer. Now that means that anything above texture, the texture will have the woodwinds in, but anything above that will just be strings. And you heard that at the very beginning. Let's check out a slightly different one, which is where the woodwinds are on the top layer. And for example, here we've got the textural strings with the soft woodwinds. And that sounds like this. And 
And here we have the textural woodwinds, but with a soft string accent. So these are combinations of smaller instrument groupings. In this case, it's the bass clarinet and the B-flat clarinet. Some fantastic textures in there. Let's look at the flute and piccolo. And finally, just looking at the string ensembles playing softly on their own. So within the advanced menu, we have all of the accented patches. So all of the ones where the top dynamic um, has a kind of musical dying back into the fabric of the rest of the, the notes that you're playing. And we also have the individual techniques. So that if you, for example, wanted to load up just the cello long soft on its own, And so it's incredibly easy to build up a really beautiful set of textures within an existing piece of music, just selecting little elements of this library to use um, within the context of other sounds. So it's incredibly easy to create amazing extra textures and feed these into the fabric of your tracks, just selecting little elements from each section of the library. And you can play with both hands and you can control the dynamics as well. You can actually even, if you're playing a pass and you really want to control the actual uh, expression of a, of a part, you can use the expression fader as well. So.
So my final thought is this. This is one of the ways that you can convince your director, for example, to, to spend the money on real musicians, because what you're hearing here are these incredibly talented um, musicians playing in a really unique, stylistic and unusual way. And what better than to have the real live players sitting, performing and reacting to your music in real time while they do this. Um, but if your budget doesn't stretch to a full band of musicians, then you can only afford a few musicians, then that's still going to give you a great result. And you're going to have these instruments to fill in the gaps. And while your ear is drawn to the live player, you have these beautiful textures floating in the background to help give your music much more depth. I'm going to leave you with one last piece played on the main patch, the first thing you load up when you load the library. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the British Drama Toolkit from Spitfire Audio. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.